Chapter 41 Detailed In the name of God, the kind, the caring. Hamim A revelation from the merciful compassionate. A book whose verses are explained. A Quran in Arabic for those who know. It gives good news and warnings. But most of them turn away, so they don't listen. They say, Our hearts are protected from what you call us to, and there's heaviness in our ears, and there's a barrier between you and us. So do what you want, and we'll do what we want. Say, I'm just a man like you, being inspired that your God is one God. So take the straight path to him, and ask him for forgiveness, and misery to the idolaters, those who don't give charity and deny the afterlife. But the righteous believers will have endless rewards. Say, do you reject the one who created the earth in two stages? And do you attribute equals to the Lord of the universe? He placed stabilizers on it, blessed it, and assigned its foods in four stages, equally for searchers. Then he turned to the sky, and it was smoke, and he said to it, and to earth, Come willingly or unwillingly? They answered, We come willingly. Then he completed them seven heavens, in two stages. And he assigned to each heaven its functions. And we decorated the lower heaven with lamps, and for protection. That's the design of the Almighty the all-knowing. If they turn away, say, I have warned you of a thunderbolt, like the thunderbolt of Ad and Namud, when their messengers came to them from all sides. Worship God alone. They replied, If our Lord had willed, he would have sent angels, so we don't believe what you're sent with. The people of Ad behaved arrogantly on earth, opposed justice, and said, Who is stronger than us? Don't they realize that God, who created them, is stronger than them? And they continued denying our messages. So we unleashed on them a roaring wind, for a few miserable days, to give them a taste of the shameful punishment of this life. But the punishment of the afterlife is more shameful, and they won't be helped. As for the mood, we guided them, but they preferred blindness to guidance. So they were struck by the thunderbolt of a shocking punishment, for what they did. And we saved the believers who were righteous on the day when God's enemies are led by force to the fire. Until, when they have reached it, their hearing, sight, and skins will testify against them as to what they did. They will ask their skins, Why did you testify against us? They will answer, God, who made all things speak, made us speak. He created you the first time, and to him you are returned. You couldn't hide yourselves from your ears, visions, and skins to prevent them from testifying against you. And you thought that God didn't know what you were doing. That thought you had about your Lord ruined you, so you became losers. If they endure, the fire is their home. If they make up excuses, they won't be forgiven. We assigned for them companions who made things attractive to them. Judgment was pronounced against them, jinn and humans before them. They were losers. The unbelievers say, Don't listen to this Quran, and talk over it, and you'll prevail. We will make the unbelievers taste intense pain, and will repay them for the worst of their deeds. A payback for God's enemies, the fire, where they'll be forever, a reward for rejecting our messages. The unbelievers will say, Our Lord, show us the jinn and humans who misled us, and we'll trample them under our feet, and we'll make them the lowest of the low. Those who say, Our Lord is God, and then go straight, are visited by the angels. Don't be afraid, nor be sad, but celebrate at the news of the promised paradise. We're your friends in this life and in the afterlife, where you'll have whatever your souls desire, and you'll have whatever you ask for. The Hospitality of a Merciful Forgiver Who's better in speech than someone who invites to God, acts with integrity, and says, I'm a submitter. Good and evil aren't the same. Counter evil with goodness, and the person who is your enemy will become like a close friend but only the patient will attain it. Only the very fortunate will attain it. When a temptation from Satan provokes you, seek God's protection. He's the listener, the knower. Among his signs are the night and the day, the sun and the moon. Don't bow to the sun or the moon, but bow to God, who created them both, if you really worship him. But if they're too proud, those who are with your Lord praise him day and night, and they never tire. Among his signs, you see the land still. 
But when we send rain, it stirs and grows. He who revived it will revive the dead. He's capable of everything. Those who pervert our verses aren't hidden from us. Is the one thrown in the fire better? Or the one who arrives safe and sound on resurrection day? Do whatever you want. He sees everything you do. Those who reject the reminder when it comes to them, it's an invincible book. Falsehood can't approach it. Neither from the front nor the back. A revelation from the wise and praised. What was said to you was said to the messengers before you. Your Lord is possessor of forgiveness and possessor of painful repayment. If we had authored the Quran in a foreign language, they would have complained. If only the verses were clear. What? In a foreign language, and yet he's an Arab? Say, it is guidance and healing for believers. But those who don't believe are hard of hearing and blind to it. These are being called from far away. We gave Moses the book, but disagreements arose over it. Were it not for an earlier decree of your Lord, their differences would have been settled. They are doubtful and suspicious about it. Whoever acts righteously does so for himself, and whoever works evil does so against himself. Your Lord isn't unjust to the beings. To him is referred the knowledge of the hour. No fruit comes out of its covering, and no female conceives or gives birth, except with his knowledge. The day he calls them. Where are my partners? They will answer. We admit, we weren't their witnesses. Those they worshipped before will abandon them, and they'll know that there's no escape. The human being never tires of praying for good things. But when adversity afflicts him, he loses hope and becomes sad. But after a misfortune, when we're kind to him, he says, This is my doing, and I don't think the hour is coming. And even if I'm returned to my Lord, I will have the best with him. We will inform the unbelievers of what they did, and will make them taste a harsh punishment. When we have mercy on someone, he withdraws and distances himself. But in difficult situations, he prays and prays. Say, consider this, if it's from God and you reject it, who's more lost than someone who openly opposes it? We'll show them our signs in the openness and in themselves, until it becomes clear to them that it's the truth. Isn't your Lord enough witness over everything? Surely, they doubt the meeting of their Lord. Certainly, he surrounds everything. 